What's up everybody, it's OGC here and I had some questions on my Instagram videos and YouTube videos about how I take pictures of clothing and how I organize and store them. So today I'm going to address that just with clothing. I think shoes and hard goods will be another video. Um, but before I get into it, everything that I'm gonna show you here or most of the stuff is um, stuff that I use and I got on Amazon and all those links will be down below in the description. So if you guys wanna help support this channel, it'd be much appreciated um, if you use those links if you're interested in any of this stuff. So let's get right into it. So I put the inventory that I get from like thrift stores or garage sales in these boxes right here. Um, I keep these in the trunk of my car. I then bring them up the stairs. I put them down and I basically just grab what's ever on top when it comes to clothing first. I then bring the clothing item over to this nice big hanger right here. Um, I got this hanger idea, like I created this because of a Rally Roots video, so I'll link that video in the description below. But the, these big hangers are nice because they add a little bit more volume to your clothes and it makes it look better than just hanging it on a regular. Okay, so now that I buttoned all of it up, you can see how much better it looks on this bigger hanger as opposed to just a regular smaller hanger. And again, it didn't take me much time to create this. It only took me a few minutes. I'm really not artistic at all. Um, it's just really simple. So I know you guys might be uh, wondering how I do pants and shorts. It's really simple. I just get one of these hangers that has a clip, um, or two clips, excuse me, and you just put it here take pictures just the same way you would take pictures of like dress shirts or regular polos or whatever. I'm going to show you my light setup and how I weigh and package clothing. So I'll hang the item up here. I'll then throw on these really nice studio lights. The link for these lights is in the description. I highly, highly recommend them. They're super portable. Um, they're really easy to store and I love them. After I take the pictures of the shirt, I then, um, put it right down on the table and I write out the item number and the bin it's going to. So in this case, I am on bin um, E right now and then I am on item 32. So I'll put E32 right there and I'll literally just take a picture of it just as you see it. So when I see it on the computer screen, I know that this item correlates with this um, SKU right here and I can put this SKU on eBay. So when it sells, this will pop up, this uh, letter and number. So I know it's in bin E and it is item 32. So after that, I just weigh it. And if it's over a pound, I put it in priority flat rate pad, pad envelopes right here. So I believe this is over a pound. Yeah, this is one pound, one ounce. So that means I'd have to send it priority uh, pad flat rate. But if it was under a pound and if it went first class, I would use these awesome 12 by 15 poly mailers, and these are really great. There's so many different uses for these. Um, these are linked in the description below, and you can get about 100 of these for 12 or 13 bucks, so they're definitely worth the investment. I highly suggest them. So I wrote um, E32, but since this is going padded flat rate, what I'm going to do is write the weight as PF, which, I mean, I don't necessarily need to do because I know this is a padded flat rate. Um, but if this was like a first class item, like this item, I wrote the weight as 10 ounces, meaning that it just saves me time on the back end because I can just quickly go know when, it's, uh, when I need to ship it that it is 10 ounces and I don't have to weigh it again. So really the goal here is just to touch the inventory one time. So here's my package once it's all packed up. I will put it back in the box that I got it out of and I will bring this like travel box, I guess that's what I call it, down to my final storage bin which will be bin E because E is where it lives and its unique identifier is 32. So when this box is full of all the different E's, um, I bring them to their final uh, destination which will just be bin E. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed uh, my video and how I organize things. Um, it's really important as a reseller to be organized and stay on top of stuff. Uh, I'm not trying to brag, but I really have never lost an item before or have not been able to find it. So the more you can take care of like on the front end and the less you have to do on the back end when the product actually sells, 
the better position you'll probably be in. And really only try to touch your inventory one time. So if you guys like the video, please smash the like button, subscribe, and comment what else you wanna see or what else you want me to do. Also, if you're interested in any of the products I use, don't forget to look at uh, the affiliate links down below. So I really appreciate it. Thanks guys, peace.